Instagram. It's Eileen, your independent Scentsy consultant. And today we got our holiday bricks. Two elephants in the room we're going to address. One, I'm not ready for Christmas, but I got my little Christmas gnome shirt on from Scentsy. I'm trying to get there for this video because your girl loves some bricks. Second elephant in the room is your girl got really, really short nails and they are still spooky season. I haven't had my nails this short, I want to say since 2017 when I got married, I think, but your girl had to get these little claws, they're still claws. Um. So I'm lifting and I'm lifting a lot of weight. I'm up to 195 pounds. I could deadlift all on my own. And when I'm grabbing the bars or the weights or whatever I'm doing to deadlift, my nails are cracking in half. They're just, they're just too long. So, um, I can't live without my nails. So we are, girl, we short. I am not used to these as short. My muscle memory is like, what are you doing here? But we got bricks today. We got lots of bricks. We got five in total, and they are the holiday bricks. I got my little paper here. So, you guys, we gotta jump right into this. I I love bricks, I love wax. My nose already is, oh, my sniffer's already going a little bit crazy because there's a lot of scent here. So, number one on the list is Fluffy Fleece. Let me read you what Fluffy Fleece is. It's black currant. Cozy musk bundle up beneath a blanket of heliotrope. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And let's put our nose right in here. Oh my god. That's not what I was expecting. I don't I don't know. I was expecting something like cozy cardigan. Um, what is that one? That new one we have, the cashmere one? Not cashmere. Corduroy. Uh Something corduroy we have. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Girl, you gotta take out your whole pound of wax. This is cozy. This is this is not like heavy musk. Nothing like cozy cardigan or what's the other one? The corduroy one. Oh my gosh. This is light, airy. It could be cozy. This is gonna be beautiful in a bathroom, in a bedroom. Oh my goodness. This is a light to medium, kind of right now what I'm smelling. This is absolutely beautiful. This is, I don't wanna say it leans feminine, I wanna say it leans on, it's really, it's just, it's cozy, but it's like a, I don't wanna say perfumey cozy, this is really, really nice. This is very universal in a bedroom, in a bathroom. I wouldn't, I don't know if this would perform the way it, the way it's on cold, it doesn't smell like it would be a strong performer in your open layout, but this is beautiful. This is really, really beautiful. So it has black currant. Maybe that's what's making it a little bit bright. Cozy musk beneath a blanket of heliotrope. I don't know what heliotrope is, you guys. Whatever it is, it's maybe it's like a little bit perfumey. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. This is along the lines of your cozy cardigan, your cashmere, and that corduroy one that we have. And I warm it all the time, I don't even. Cashmere and corduroy. That's, that's what this is along the lines of. Fluff, fluffy fleece. Telling you, five pounds of wax, a lot of scent. My nose is already going crazy. So next one up is cinnamon. Sorry, vanilla cinnamon maple. And this is cinnamon stick warms buttery maple atop a mountain of whipped sweet cream. So if you're a bakery lover, this sounds kind of up my alley. I am definitely a bakery lover. Ooh, girl, that's cinnamon. That is not red hot cinnamon. That is bakery cinnamon. I could smell butter, like a buttery. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I really get maple on top. Oh my gosh! 
gosh, that's cinnamon and that is vanilla and that is maple on the bottom. It's not a strong maple because I'm not a maple lover. This is really, really nice. This smells like, I just get that sweet cream and, oh my gosh, you guys, sweet cream, vanilla, butter on top and I get maple on the bottom. This is gonna be a really nice mixer. If you love um, any kind of bakery, this is gonna be up your alley. It is not it is not red hot cinnamon, which I really, really do appreciate, Sensi, because I'm more of a bakery kind of cinnamon. This is really, really nice, sweet, mm, cozy, warm. This would be nice like once we do get cold, here in California, this is gonna be nice to warm. Very much of a kitchen scent for me, in my taste. So that is vanilla cinnamon maple. Next up on the list, which I'm gonna be very honest, and I haven't smelled these, these are all my first sniffs. I don't like eggnog, and that's what's up next, is spiced eggnog. I'm not an eggnog kind of girl, I don't drink it during the holidays, but, I've never mind the way eggnog smelled. So, like when people drink eggnog, I'm not like, ugh, no, it smells fine. The drink that I don't like when people drink it, it literally makes me want everything in my stomach to come up, is horchata. If someone drinks horchata, I'm, no, I don't like the smell of it. I, I don't even like looking at it. So eggnog does not do that to me. So eggnog's okay with me, I just won't drink it. So let's go over what spiced eggnog is. It's ground clove simmers in a festive blend of buttery rum and creamy eggnog. Girl, some of this packaging. Mm, there we go. Oh, I smell rum. I smell some kind of butter. Oh my God, my nose is just going. I've never drank eggnog, you guys. Woo! That is strong on the bottom if that's vanilla. It's like, mm, it's like an alcoholic vanilla. Not like alcohol, like, girl, I'm gonna take a shot, but like, uh, potent alcohol in a bottle. Yeah, that's not good on the bottom at all. These have to be freshly poured, so. On the top, it smells nice. On the bottom, it smells some kind of like medicine, alcohol, rum, kind of. But not like boozy, unless that's what booze smells like. Girl, I don't know, that's strong. This is very strong on, um, on cold, so it might be a great performer. And just because I'm smelling them this way right now on first sniffs does not mean that that's how they're gonna smell when um when you warm them they they totally transform this could be really beautiful i'm thinking mixer and mixer that's what i'm thinking of for these very very strong but not like off-putting strong it's not off-putting i'm not off put yet it smells so far fluffy fleece is my favorite but they, they do smell good so we're gonna go to pink poinsettia or poinsettia, however you want to pronounce it. Now, in my culture, yes, we have a lot of poinsettias everywhere. They don't smell to me. So they don't smell like flower or floral. They're just there and they're very velvety to the touch. They're very, very nice. And I do, we do get pink poinsettias in, in, in the winter. And those are, those are my favorite to like bring to like Christmas, I guess you can say, or as, I don't know, we just give them. So I'm kind of excited for Pink Point Setup. The scent notes are crisp plum, you already got me there, Scentsy, and blackberries celebrate a season with a burst of pomegranate. So there's no floral note. It's a fruity, everything's fruity. And girl, you got me at plum. I'm gonna tell you right now. Oh my God. That's probably the ugliest face I've ever made. It's fruity. I am a fruity kind of girl and this is very much 
fruity. Not strong like rainbow sherbet. Not strong like, what's that other one? Paradise Punch. This is a different, girl, this is strong alcohol on the bottom too. See, I don't think that it's um like the way it's supposed to smell. This smells very like astringent on the bottom of like alcohol, but on the top, this smells fruity, yummy, and it smells like like rubber alcohol on the bottom. I don't think it's supposed to smell like that. Again, I think these are just freshly poured. They haven't just like settled in. But on, oh my God. This is not strong like Rainbow Sherbet. This smells like a medium performer. It's medium on, on top. You get plum, you get blackberry, you get fruity goodness. And girl, I'm all about the fruity. I, sometimes I need a break from cinnamon and pumpkin and apples and no, not apples. But cinnamon and pumpkin, sometimes I need a break from because I always have Johnny Appleseed going in. It's fresh apple. But sometimes you just need a break. And I'm gonna, I don't want to call it. It's, it's already club worthy for me. Oh, I don't want to call it, but yes. But, but I'm a fruity kind of girl. So that is pink poinsettia or poinsettia, however you want to say it. And last... And, it, and I just didn't plan it that way. That's just how it is here on my list. This is what I'm least excited for, is sweet orange pomander. So I don't like wassail or wassail wonderland, however you pronounce it, that like simmering orange with um, cinnamon. Not for me. It is, it is not my jam. I tried it. I don't like it on cold. I don't know what it is about orange and like cinnamon because I love orange like fresh bright orange I love it but I don't like just like simmering orange with cinnamon and I think that's what this is so sparkling clove and cinnamon stick adorn sweet orange in a dazzling display so we're oh wait, do I have caught I have caught oh girl I'm dropping my bricks. Girl, I'm trying to reach for this coffee. This is probably like the weirdest oven. Yeah, just stuff's falling. I'm going to clear my nose palette. I like it. This nice little cup my husband bought me. It is so cute. So, we are going to clean our nose palette. <sighs> let's, um, let's give sweet orange pomander the best shot because we are positive patties. Okay, so we said sparkling clove, cinnamon stick, and sweet orange dazzling display. It is cinnamon and it is not bakery cinnamon. This is more of a red hot cinnamon like Christmas cottage kind of cinnamon I smell in here. I'm trying to get this out. This one too. So three of them have like, or four of them. Fluffy Fleece didn't have it. It's the way that they mixed them because it smells like alcohol on the bottom and like a bottle of alcohol. It. I think these just need to set and I want to make um, samples for my customer. So on top I get orange, a lot of red hot cinnamon, and this is not my jam. This is not this is not my jam. I smell more red hot cinnamon than I do orange. It is red hot cinnamon. I can't give the bottom a fair chance. A little bit of orange. Yeah. Little bit of orange. It's very, very strong on the bottom. But not my jam. So anything I have like this, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do and it's going to be no shock to anybody. I will mix this with vanilla bean buttercream to smooth it out for me. Um, I can try it on its own. My family did not like um, Wassel or Wassail Wonderland last year. They said, what are you like warming? And the husband loves orange. He's all about orange. He loves citrus and he didn't even like it. So, but this is red hot cinnamon. If you love red hot cinnamon, this is, oh girl, this is going to be for you. This is not, whoo. It smells like they put Christmas cottage, smells like Christmas cottage 
mixed with a little bit different orange instead of I think Christmas Cottage has like Valencia orange they put simmering orange that's what this smells like to me this is not up my alley but hey you never know I might like it with vanilla bean buttercream so those are our five bricks what is this sweet orange pomander pink poinsettia spiced eggnog vanilla cinnamon maple oh my god girl look at me I'm memorizing and fluffy fleece and I will tell you right now how I'm going to like them in order fluffy fleece is gonna be girl number one I already smell this is beautiful oh it could be a little soapy maybe I don't know but it has that bright musk um this is gonna be great for a bedroom cozy carton I think things are coming for my cozy cardigan like the cashmere and corduroy and now this because cozy cardigan is my jam this is coming for you cozy, cozy cardigan I absolutely this one already could be club worthy pink poinsettia I called it I think I might put this in my club and when you put these in your club you will not get a brick you are going to get a bar if you put any when these do come available and I believe they become available I have my notes here these are going to be available October 25th so we get ours as a consultant we got ours early so we can sample them out for customers get with your sensi lady so she can get you give you your samples if you're my customer already be expecting these in the mail by next week because I'm gonna be melting these and if you need samples either contact your local con consultant or my email everything is always linked down below if you guys want anything and if you guys need a digital copy of the holiday collection email me let me know I can send those to you digitally but second lineup is going to be pink poinsettia for me I love fruity your girl's a bakery lover um, I could already see this being great for mixing. I want to mix pumpkin with this already. So just straight pumpkin, like marshmallow pumpkin that I have in my in my stash. I could already smell that. That is vanilla cinnamon, vanilla cinnamon maple. That's number three on my list. Eggnog is going to be number four, I think just how I am things change I'm a woman I change my mind like every two seconds but this I think I'll be happy I will finish it and then I'll be done that that's what I think but you never know girl could go rogue and be like it's in my club knowing me and last is going to be sweet orange pomander not my jam but if you are a cinnamon lover this is for you so I'm gonna be making samples, you guys. Get with your consultant to get your hands on some samples of these or email me, comment down below. What are you guys looking most forward to for these bricks? Cause girl, bricks are coming October 25th. It is one for $24, two for 40. I believe that's the, the only deal they, yep, that's it two for 40 one for 24 two for 40 is always going to be your best deal basically they're 20 dollars um a brick basic basically and even in our club with our discount i mean if you if you're in sensi club i believe you can get a brick if you already have your 10 percent off i believe it's like 21.60 so these are still cheaper than what we can get in our club. This is the time of year that we offer bricks is for the holiday season. And I believe it's just while supplies last. And once the bricks run out, once they say sold out, you can always add them to your club. You do not get a brick of them in your club. You get a bar. And I believe the bar is $6 in your club. And then if you hit your $30 mark, it's 10% off of that. So anyway, Sensi fam, let me know which ones you guys are looking most forward to sound off down below i will comment with you guys in the comments thank you guys for spending some time with me today and i'll see you on the next one since fam bye